Hey folks, it's JD here, and look at this. This is the flight test of the Phantom 4. This has very kindly been lent to us by our friends at NFOX TV. Say hi, Nick. Hello. Is there anything else you want to say about your channel, Nick? No, you don't really know. No, just, just cars? Yeah, yeah. Wicked. So, that was Nick. So, here we go. We're just about to go through the, the first steps now, just to take her off. Before we do, just a quick recap. Um, what I've done first, as per the manufacturer's recommendations, insert the battery and then attach the four propellers. You've got the silver, the silver ring which goes onto the white dots and the black ring which goes onto the black dots. Um, now make sure once you have put these on, they are on tight, you don't want to be starting the motor and then just to find out that one of them flies off in any direction. Also, I have taken off the gimbal holder just to ensure that we can get some video recording uh, and the gimbal isn't being held in place and obviously we're not going to damage the motor inside the gimbal either. Uh, also attached my phone, plugged it up via USB, obviously this cable is sold separately uh, so make sure that you do get something like it um, or use your own charge cable just to ensure that when you are flying your battery does not uh, does not die in your phone. All right, so now we're going to turn on, as we've been through the pre-flight checks, we're now going to turn on the transmitter. One, and then... So one little tap, and then a hold on the on button will turn it off. Turn it on. The same will turn it off as well. Now we're going to turn on the drone. Okay, so it's the same as the transmitter. Press once, and then press and hold. And then you'll hear a little fan inside the drone and obviously it'll play your tune. It's gone round, I don't know if you've just seen that all the propellers have moved just to ensure that they are completely on solid and they are on tight enough. That little fan noise you hear on the inside you will always hear. Uh, that isn't anything wrong with your particular with your particular drone. That is just to let you know that um, it's just cooling down the inside of the drone pretty much. So there we go. So now what we've done is we've synced it up, opened up the DJI Go app from this point onwards now, we should just be able to... There we are. So it's just warming up, it's waiting before we take off. <laughs> so, I don't know if you just heard that um, little voice, what it was basically telling you that the GPS point has been updated. Please double check it on a map. Uh, so now once we have fully warmed up, we will be ready to take off. So this is, as we were still waiting for the aircraft to, to warm up, as you can see here in the top left, let's go through the heads-up display. So we can see we've got the battery and the signal uh, running across the top. GPS is enabled, battery is full, transmitter battery is full. Uh, stop, start and stop recording is the little red button here. Uh, you can see that you've got how high you are and how far you've traveled run along the bottom. Uh, you've got a little map of where you are as well in the bottom left hand corner. That's quite, uh, that's quite nice. And you can see what you're also recording at and what you're also filming at. So you can see your ISO, your shutter speed, as well as us recording in 4K at 25 frames a second. And with this 16 gig card uh, inside, we have got 28 minutes of uh, recording capacity on the card. So there we go. So now we should be ready to take off. So now what we've got to do is just take off. So in order to, for, for us to take off, the drone has to take itself up to an altitude. Normally one meter, it'll hold itself there and then it'll be over to us then to fly as normal. So this little icon here with the up arrow on a circle, push it once and then slide. And now we should be good to take off. So you can hear those brushless motors really are loud. So we've got a little warning just to tell us the battery temperature is below 15 degrees. So let's just take her up a little bit more and let's just fly her out gently and see how far we go. Okay, so as with every GPS quadcopter and I've just noticed the Phantom is no different. As soon as you go to take off, take her out a little way first, let the GPS points actually lock onto her, stop her. You'll notice that she does wobble a little bit uh, and that of course is to be expected. So now we should just be able to click record. So now we're recording video directly onto the SD card within the, uh, within the DJI, DJI as well. So let's take her up a little bit more and let's take her out. Here we go. Not once have I thought since we've taken off, have I thought, 
oh hang on that's a little bit too dangerous or oh, oh hang on I don't know if this is going to be a stable flight it is just <laughs> it just seems too stable for words obviously the you've got the red LEDs on the front you've got the green LED LEDs on the back another thing I am extremely impressed with is that even from this distance I don't know if you can see exactly how far I am but I'm for the second I've flown 32 meters and the height is at a 7.8 meter altitude I can still see the green LEDs on the back of the battery cover so that in itself is, is quite a triumph I mean we've got such a beautiful day today, we're up in Troopers Hill, up in Bristol and we're just filming this, um, well, it's pretty much, it's, it is just filming itself. <laughs> here we go, so we've got a nice little smokestack over here, so let's go a little bit towards the smokestack. Let's have a little look and see what is happening over here as well. So obviously as you're using the FPV within built into the drone it's important to remember that you do still have to have your eye on the drone as well just to ensure that you are flying her in accordance with UK law and also um, safely and you're not going to be flying her into anyone. These brushless motors really are <laughs> incredibly loud. <laughs> As you would expect from uh, something of this power, I mean, um, on standard this drone can get up to 30 miles an hour. On sport mode it can go past that up to a, a, an unbelievable 45 miles an hour, obviously within the right weather conditions. So here we go, we're going to take her out a little bit more now. Let's take her up a little bit. So now we're at a 10, 11 meter altitude. 12 meter altitude let's just let's just circle around so you can see exactly where we are this is such a beautiful place I mean there's just trees for miles on end look at it it is just stunning and the 4k capabilities within the the Phantom 4 just really show that off Let's just do a little spin round of the area as well so you can see. Okay, so battery within the transmitter and battery within the the drone. We're looking good. We're looking at 79% within the drone and we're looking full within the transmitter. So here we go. So as you as you would expect, when you do stop uh, in any location with the Phantom. It does pull back, that is almost like it's air brake, just to stop it so it does lock into position. That is expected, it is quite a violent movement, uh, but obviously that is one that do expect to happen. So let me just show you. So if I go forward, and then stop, see she pulls back, it is quite aggressive, but it is expected. Don't think she's going to fall from the sky, she is perfectly safe and perfectly stable. So I brought her down a little bit there as we were uh, moving her around. Spring her down a little bit as well and then blast her off. So I'm just flying her backwards a bit here and she is as stable backwards as she is forwards. I mean normally you get a little bit of wobble as you go backwards with some drones especially. But look at this. Just standing there, minding its own business, nothing. No whirlpool effect on uh, with the GPS, nothing whatsoever. The drone is 100% totally stationary. All right then folks, so with that, let's bring her down. Let's take her around one last time and then let's bring her down for a landing. So I just want just want everybody to see. I mean, this video is recording in 4K at 25 frames a second. Okay, so we've just had low battery warning on the DJI as it's displayed here. We've got 29% left. So with that, let's stop the recording and let's bring her down. As you can see, the two green LEDs at the back, they are now flashing red, just to alert you that the battery is very low.
Okay, so there we go, we've landed. So in order to in, to ensure that you get a safe landing, obviously you want to land on as um, as solid ground as you possibly can. Once you do bring her down, just make sure you keep your finger on your uh, descent button, and then once, even when you hit the hit the ground, keep on holding that uh, descent button down, and you will then the motors will cut off. So wow, that has been quite an amazing first flight. Uh, so we, we took off, we spun around a bit, we had a little look, we used the 4K capabilities within the camera to take some absolutely beautiful uh, shots of around Bristol, all around here from this morning. Uh, she, has, she has absolutely blown my expectations of what I thought the Phantom 4 was out of the water, uh, totally. So to begin with, we had... Um, we put the propellers on, so we put the battery in, then we put the propellers on, we turned her on, we had to wait a good five minutes for her to warm up, then when she was ready to fly, we took off, took her up, flew around, uh, flew around Bristol this morning. Uh, so far we've covered a distance of 10, uh, 10, 11 metres, and at a max altitude of about 23, 24 metres as well. So there we are, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, that just gives you a gentle nudge and a little email just when a new video goes up. Don't forget the video schedule is three times a week, once on a Monday, once on a Wednesday, and once on a Saturday at 1800, that's 6pm GMT. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.